Eliza. I'm um, just on the AHPCC meeting where the arriving New Zealanders were discussed. Um, you said you weren't there, and it now appears that you were there. Um, how did that slip your mind, I guess? I was not there for the beginning, and I was not there for that part of the conversation that was referenced yesterday. I think I was in at the 45-minute mark or thereabouts. I, I checked with um, the Secretariat support that we have at uh, state level, uh, so I wasn't there for that particular discussion. I was there for the broader discussion around a risk stratification process for international arrivals where um, how that assessment might be made w was discussed. And just on the 25 kilometre limit, um, the Premier said that it was a decision made on the best health advice available. Um, can you just clarify whether it was a decision made by the public health team or by the Premier's office? No, it was, it, it was public health advice. Yeah. Professor Sutton, yesterday emails emerged that contradicted your testimony at the inquiry about what you knew and when on private security. Then yesterday, as we've just discussed, that uh, you said you weren't at Monday's meeting with health experts when New Zealand travel was discussed. You said you weren't there on Monday, not that I can remember. It's now been revealed. You were there, you just weren't there for that specific part. Correct. Um, how can Victorians have confidence in you, considering that your, your version of the truth, I suppose, keeps changing? I think I've just responded to the question about not being at a meeting where a specific issue was discussed, so I hope that's settled. Uh, in relation to the emails, I've probably had 20, 30,000 emails on coronavirus since this has started. I, I get up to 150 a day. Uh, I'm in copy for many of them. Many of them run to several pages. Um, if I've missed a reference to security uh, in late May when the program was established, I'm sorry. Um, uh, it hasn't registered. So when I've spoken to the inquiry to say exactly that, that was the case. Um, I, I was never involved in the decision making around private security. I, I didn't get asked my opinion on it. I wasn't involved in the setup of the program and I didn't have a command or control role. And as I <coughs> said to the uh, inquiry at the time, my public health team were trying to make a case for stronger oversight from, from the public health team, so I was keen. The Commonwealth Health Department has confirmed you were there throughout the whole meeting on Monday and also on Tuesday. So I, so I wasn't there the whole time on a Monday. I, th I think that's been made clear. Convenient that you weren't there for that. How, how can it be convenient? I think I was well, here. I suppose. Uh, I think I was here prior to that meeting. I think I was going to my office from here. Um, at the time that it started, so I couldn't get there on time. I suppose it's just in the last two days we've, realized, we've seen emails that you were part of, just that included private security that's been such a critical <coughs> issue in the whole hotel quarantine program. Now, you said yesterday you weren't there at this other really important meeting, now we're hearing that you were there. It, it's just a bit hard to follow. I wasn't there because I was here. Um, I go to those meetings whenever I can make it. If I've got other commitments, um, my secretariat support is there to note. Uh, I get that information at the end of every meeting. I think Alan Cheng uh, was there for the entire meeting on the Monday. So, you know, Victoria has representation. My deputy was there. I 